What's up everyone, this is Scratch, and I've got a video here for you. We're gonna take a look at a legendary weapon that I've just recently found in Fallout 4. It's called the Spray and Prey. And the effect that this comes with is bullets explode on impact doing 15 points of area effect damage. So what that means is every time your bullet impacts something, it explodes for 15 points around it. So that adds up pretty quickly when you figure that this is a submachine gun uh, with a fire rate of 127. So um, it's just, it's a phenomenal gun. So it comes with the current mods that it came with. This is exactly how it came. I have not modified it, although I can. Um, but it has a powerful receiver, standard barrel, recoil, re recoil compensating stock. Say that five times fast. Um, I've actually said it five times because it's taken about that many takes to get this right, but we're just going to leave this one in there. Uh, large quick eject drum, standard sights, which I might change. I uh, haven't decided yet. And a suppressor. The suppressor was huge for me because I like to do a lot of sneaking and things like that. So uh, the fact that this was, you know, came with a suppressor. And at the time when I got it, I didn't have the gun nut perk. Uh, to be able to attach a suppressor, so I just found it here and bought it. Um, so I'm going to show you where to find it, and I'm going to show you how to use it and give you an example. Uh, just so you, just so we have a heads up, I am playing the game on normal. I'm level 21, and I have the uh, automatic weapons perks are maxed out uh, when I'm using this. So. Uh, this is on a normal game. I'm actually thinking about turning the difficulty up because this uh, definitely levels the playing field for anybody I beat with a skull next to their name, which the skull's next to their name indicating that they're more powerful than you. Uh, if you got to spray and pray, that's not really the case. So let's take a look at this. I'll stop talking and you guys can check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll let's get over to show you that or whatever. Okay, thanks. So I'm sure the first thing you're wondering is where in the crap did I get this awesome weapon? So I'm going to show you. She shows up in three different places apparently. Now I found her outside of Diamond City so I'm showing you where that is in the map. Obviously Sanctuary is one of the starting areas um, and then Diamond City is all the way down here. It's in a pretty early mission that you'll have to find this place but here it is on the map anyways just in case you haven't. Uh, found it yet, but I found her wandering uh, outside. Now when I say her, I of course mean the vendor that sells this. Her name is Cricket, and this is what she looks like. She usually uh, travels with a caravan or whatever, but this is this is who you're looking for. Um, she's kind of creepy actually. Uh, but apparently she also, the caravan also shows up at Vault 81. Um, she's kind of like one of the random encounter NPCs uh, as a vendor that just kind of wanders around. But this is this is Vault 81, um, or how to get there anyway. So you, you might search around here. I haven't found her here yet, but um, apparently she is here. It's uh, Vault 81 is just inside the cave there. And then the other place that she can be found is all the way down here um, in the bottom right-hand corner of uh, Warwick Homestead which is a pretty cool place but it's very very dangerous to get down there so if you're low level I don't recommend walking down there uh, you'll probably run into a Mr. Gutsy that uh, will take care of you uh, real quick if you do make it down there you shouldn't have any problem getting back though uh, if you do manage to pick up the gun because here is what it is capable of um, now this isn't a completely great representation because that bomb is actually from a suicider uh, mutant, so, you know, he has a nuke in his hand. Uh, but this is what it does to the average regular super mutant, uh, super mutant brute in this case. And you can see the effects of, of the explosion here right as I kill him. Um, when, he, when he blows up and lost both of his legs there, it was pretty wild. Um, here's a regular super mutant up close. They're super easy to kill. It's really awesome to bring them in and do the Feral Ghoul Roamers in the water because the water effect is freaking amazing. That's awesome. I, th I love the water. Um, but anyways, that's, that's where it is there. And then, of course, uh, I'm in this next area. I'm going to show you um, defeating an enemy that's much higher level than I am. And you can see that it has uh, it's a Savage Death Claw. And you can see that it has a skull. Uh, next to its name, which is warning me that I probably would rather turn and run uh, than try to fight this uh, boss because it's, you know, such a higher level than I am. 
but obviously the great equalizer is the spray and pray um, and I pretty much do this completely unscathed um, it didn't it didn't really bother me at all and you get a pretty good chunk of XP for doing it so Hopefully you guys like this video. I'm still on the lookout for more stuff in Fallout, so I'll probably have some other videos coming uh, we can talk about and do some things like this. If you guys have anything that you want me to make a video about that you'd like to share, I'll give you full credit. We'll talk about it. We'll shoot a video um, and let the community know. So hopefully this helped you, and like I said, I think I'm going to turn the difficulty up because it's a little too easy with this gun, but it should shave off quite a bit of time. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.